In this module, we will cover policy management. Wikipedia states that a policy is a deliberate system of principles to guide decisions and achieve rational outcomes, a statement of intent implemented as a procedure or protocol. We at Checkpoint use policies to manage our products, and you can say that the concept of a policy is as follows. Who will do what? For example, if I'm planning a trip, I will set up an insurance policy that will cover me while I'm on the trip, my personal belongings, and the flight tickets. But if I take an adventurous trip and explore the wilderness, I will want my insurance to include search and rescue and maybe even an airlift. We have two types of policies for endpoints, related to capabilities and software deployment. Policies related to capabilities will dictate the behavior per client. For example, when finance plugs in a storage device, it must be encrypted. But when the rest of the organization uses a storage device, it does not have to be encrypted. Software deployment defines which version to install and which capabilities needs to be installed on the client. For example, we can decide that all laptops will use VPN. Let's have a look. I'm now in the Infinity Portal and I've went to the Policy tab and we'll start with the Deployment Policy. In this scenario, since this is just a demo, I'm using a single rule. So I'm just going to go ahead and add VPN to it. And I've just updated the software deployment policy. Now let's move to threat prevention and I'm going to modify a capability policy. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and modify URL filtering. I'm going to change the mode to prevent. And under options, I'll go to categories. And under general use, I'll search for financial. There we go. And let's install the policy. Here in this summary, I can see both policies, the capability policy and the deployment policy. Hit install. From the client side, I've been prompted with this message. I can select upgrade now and wait. Yet another fast forward through time and now I can see the remote access capability. If I'll check my network connections, I can see the VPN adapter. So I do have the VPN capability. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.